In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the shotgun run out of the nickel 245 odd in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to take your game to the next level, I would really encourage you to click the subscribe button because it's going to get you access to uh, a ton of free tips and tricks that we release here every single day. Now, one of the things I also wanted to point out here is I'm talking today about the nickel 245 odd. Now, you can find this formation in the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. I think Chicago is one of the better uh, playbooks in this game. And what we're talking about is honestly one of the weaknesses of this defense, which most people would say is it's run defense. It's shotgun run defense is not that good. And we're gonna show you today how you can make it actually really, really, really good um, with uh, a couple of simple little adjustments against the trips tight end offense. So uh, if you wanna learn the rest of the 245 offense, how 245 odd defense, how I like to run it against bunch and bunch tight end and U trips and some of the other meta offenses, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. My Patreon is $10 a month and it gets you unlimited access to everything. It gets you access to every ebook, every exclusive tip, every pro player breakdown, which I'm really excited. We're gonna be doing some pro player film studies and uh, kind of scouting reports uh, with the, some of the tournaments. I'm actually really, really excited to dive into that. I got a couple players that I, I really uh, wanna study and show and kind of break down some of their films. So. Uh, without further ado, we're going to jump into this video. But if you want to get the Patreon, like I said, that gets you instant access. I've got 11 ebooks right now. Uh, 245 odd is one of them. And so if you want to learn the entire 245 odd defense, head over to Patreon. But that being said, let's talk today about running defense. So I'm just going to come out and cover four. We're not going to come out in like a heavy blitz or anything. I just want to come out in like something basic um, and show you how to run this. So what we're going to do is what I like to do, especially against something like a trips tight end set or a this, um, another example would be gun doubles where you could do this, but I love to move this guy out here and because I can use him as a blitzer in some of my other coverages. The next thing that I want to do is I want to take my user and I want to stand kind of right here. And, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to loop and come through and shoot through the a gap so um, with the locomotion and some of the change of direction things that Madden 22 has in its game it's actually really difficult for someone to do a stop and go in the backfield and cut back where you go from. So, you know, maybe the best runners in the game can do this, but by and large, most people can't do this and you're gonna be very successful. So we're gonna start with quick base. I think quick base is one of the more effective runs. And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot, we're gonna go down and through this gap right in here. So uh, snap the ball, we're gonna go down through this gap. And as you saw right there, we got picked up. So what I like to do, and this is something that is really, really good for Madden 22, is dive tackle dive tackles this year are really really effective so if you get like a base run like this just dive tackle right there and it blows it up just like that and that happens so consistently i cannot stress you tell you enough how good this really is so again we're just going to press uh move that linebacker out there i really like that because again that gives me the ability to blitz against something like this um, and then we're just going to go base and as you can see the run is blown up now, another run that people like to run, if they can't run base, then they're gonna try to run maybe like an inside zone type of run. So we're gonna set the same exact defense up. And what you're gonna see, we're gonna see kind of right in here. And it's kind of hard to show this. Um, you're gonna do better you know, when you're doing this, but against inside zone, it's an absolute bag. You're not gonna be able to run inside zone against this, which is really, really cool. Now, the last thing that I wanna show with this run defense is that again, it's perfect because it sets us up really nicely to be able to blitz. So if I want to send pressure at the quarterback, it looks exactly the same, right? So I could go to cover four, have this look right here, send some pressure, and uh, be able to, you know, be able to, you know, kind of push them to have to throw the ball a little quicker than they might like, you know, and something something as simple as like that can be, you know, the a game changing type deal. So again, we're just gonna, you know, maybe blitz our linebackers, do something like this, bring this guy out. As long as he's on the contain, that's really all we're looking for. Um, and then they go with a pass play, and you're going to see here that we're able to get double edge pressure uh, at the quarterback. So not going to be able to pick that up with max protect or anything. And the beauty of this is this is all wrapped in the in the same exact defense that we would want to be using. Whoops, I apologize, I messed up my defensive line. Um, that we would want to be using to get some pressure. And I keep I don't know why I keep crashing them down or sending them down, but. So you see right here, now we're back in our run defense. It's the same exact thing. And we're just trying to blow the run up just like that. Occasionally you'll give something up like that, especially against base. But I have found for the most part, um, part of this is because uh, I'm using both the offense and the defense. But basically just come in here, you can kind of dive and uh, and blow it up. And again, 
I can't quite I'm not getting a great shoot uh, just because of the the fact that I'm on offense too but anyway that's you see the idea here so we're just gonna stand kind of right in here come in you know try to dive and you blow that up as you can see so it's a really good shotgun run defense it doesn't just work for trip side in um, so let me give you another quick example let me go to gun bunch kind of show you the same exact idea uh, this is something that a lot of people like to do to me, especially at a gun bunch. Is they're going to try to run the ball. Like that's going to be their move, right? Well, what I like to do is again, we're going to kind of, and again, you can choose whoever you want. Um, but what I like to do is stand on the same side of the running back, kind of stand like right in here, right? And then at the snap of the ball, we're just going to come down and try to blow that run up through the dive tackle um, element. And normally it does. It normally stops inside zone. It normally stops base. Uh, stops a lot of stuff. So it's a great little run defense for you. I know a lot of people I think are struggling stopping the run from two, four, five odds. So this is something that you can use um, that is actually relatively effective. If you want to learn the rest of the two, four, five odd defense, or you just want to take your man game to the next level, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. For just ten dollars a month, you're going to get unlimited access to every ebook while your subscription is active. We already got eleven ebooks out. Two, four, five odd is one of them. And we've got more ebooks on the way. So if you want to join, there's a link down in the description below where you can click that link and go over and join the Patreon again for just 10 bucks a month. And remember, you can cancel it whenever you want. So whenever you're whenever you're done with it, you can cancel it and no problem. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.